Hello and welcome to another Warhammer video um, released at the weekend. This will be my first look, first impressions of the Gathering Storm uh, Part 3, Rise of the Primarch Codex. One of these will set you back £30 and it's the same sort of layout vein as the, the other two books. Um, the first one was uh, of the Imperium, second one was uh, Eldar or Eldari which includes uh, the Eldar, Dark Eldar and Harlequins. But this one is pretty much Space Marine based goodness. So let's uh, unwrap, have a quick read. I've never seen this in the flesh. I um, haven't had a preview of it or anything like that. I do love the sword. Uh, I do love um, the front cover. I think it's incredible. And uh, there you go. There's Gilly Man on the back. Um, printed in the UK like the other two. Ah, oh, smells absolutely gorgeous guys. Oh, lovely. Right, so here we go. We've got some ultramarines, specifically Gilly Man fighting Chaos. It looks like he's fighting Zinch this time. Um, book three of the Gathering Storm. Will there be a book four, five, six, and so on? Who knows? So, some lovely iconic artwork. Ultramar Defiant, Realm at War, a nice little map of Macrag Through the Flames, Siege of Hera. So you get a lot of backstory, as with the other two books, which is great. Um, I really love this way of telling this narrative uh, through these books. A lovely piece of artwork there. With Belisarius in the background, and Voldus there. And then you've got Greyfax, Saint Celestine. Beautiful. There you go, there's a little battle going on. War Storm, so there's Grandmaster Voldus. Battle from the Crag. That's an iconic piece of artwork too. Skipping over this quite a lot because uh, the, the light is fading and I want to give you this in the in sort of like sunlight. There you go, that's the uh, inside cover but in colour. There you go. Rise of the Primarch. And then a little bit about Cypher, very mysterious character. Look at that, head to head with a, with a Bloodthirster. It's a bit unfair on the Bloodthirster, don't you think? <laughs> Gods of War, good old Magnus. And right here we have Zinch and Magnus, look. Wow, and then a webway portal, things coming through it. Uh, I thought that was a new tank at first, but no, it's just a, just a stalker. And then, as you can see right there, guys, it's just been leaked today, I think. Um, but you've got some custodians there, some sisters, and you've got some a Land Raider and a Rhino uh, sprayed gold. Now, revealed today that they're going to be doing a, a Talons of the Emperor box set that includes, um, I think it might be 10 custodian guard, could be wrong, could be five, but I think it might be 10, a Land Raider, a Rhino, uh, some sisters, and uh, the Contempt of Dreadnought that you get in Betrayal at Kalth. Uh, I don't know how much it is, um, but they're doing a codex as well. Completely separate codex, I think. So that plays all of that into the 40k narrative quite well, considering that in 30k in Horus Heresy, uh, they've just released Inferno, um, book seven, and uh, you've got all the rules in there. So that's going to be great that we, we have rules for 40k. Um, I've got both, so it's not really too much of an issue, but... Um, I think it's a bit poor that they've just sprayed the Land Raider and the Rhino and the Dreadnought gold. Um, you know, um, but hopefully in the Codex they might have some Forge World models. Who knows, they might have the, the jet bikes and um, the newer Dreadnoughts, but uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just going to be these and the Contempt. I think they're going to skimp out, but who knows. Um, try to remain positive. There we go, the Emperor's Wrath. Looks like Sicarius. Probably Sicarius though. There's Greyfax. 
That looks incredible, lovely piece of artwork. That vehicle's doing there, that vehicle looks a bit odd. I know it's the flyer, the Space Marine flyer, and then you've got a Thunderhawk up there, but it just looks a little bit out of place, but... And then you've got little old Araman zipping around on his uh, cloud, Dragon Ball Z style. Um, there you go. Beautiful artwork in here. Wow, haven't seen that artwork before. That is immense. Wow. So there's a huge section on the custodians in this. There you go, look, look at this. This is epic for, for Space Marines and the Imperium, epic. So you get some artwork. So like the others, you get 100 pages of uh, fluff, then you get the rules uh, through the flames. So you get mission one, two, three, four, can we squeeze a fifth one? Yeah, five. Five missions. Lovely. And then you've got some other things. Now the data sheet, Cypher. Are you ready for his ballistic skill? It'll blow you it'll blow you away. Seriously. It's ten. <laughs> and I'll be going through the rules, uh and things in my review of this codex. Uh I'll be going through the rules um as well in, in my individual um, model reviews once I've built them so you won't have to wait too long um, it'll be Wednesday when I go through that and you've got the Fallen, Fallen Champions, Grandmaster Voldus, Bulwark, Bulwark, I can never say that name, uh, Bulwark of uh, Purity and then Roboot Gilliman. 350 points, he's 100 points more than a land raider and he does have six wounds and six attacks and the Emperor's Sword is a D weapon. Spoilers, spoilers. Right, um, Triumvirate of the Primarch, uh, Victrix Guard, and so on. And then you've got some traits uh, and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah, lovely little book. Uh, brilliant book um, to accompany your brand new uh, box set of miniatures. I'm very, very pleased with this. Very, very uh, chuffed. Um, can't wait to sort of read it, read all the backstory and the fluff, especially the custodians um, things. I wasn't quite um, prepared for that. That is the uh, Triumvirate of the Primark uh, Codex. Quick first look. I'll try and get the review out for you on Wednesday, along with my other reviews for, for these models. It's been a fantastic three months so far, Games Workshop. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you guys for tuning in every week, uh, every weekend as well, and watching these videos. I really do appreciate it, and I love all your positive comments. It really keeps me going and motivated to continue doing this um, sort of hobby, the hobby of YouTube, that is. Once again, thank you for joining me, and thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.